Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how you can analyze and develop your ideas or voice notes made using Otter AI for example using Infranodus visual text analysis tool and GPT-4 AI so that in the end you get something like this graph where you can see what are the main ideas in your notes, how they are related to one another and also more importantly what are the gaps between them because when you focus on these gaps uh, you will be able to actually make new connections between them and develop them further. So keep watching to learn how it works. First of all, I'm going to show you my Otter AI interface. So here I have a note which I made about a month ago uh, while I was camping, I think, just some thoughts out loud. And Otter already provides me some keywords and also a summary, but I don't find it particularly useful because uh, I don't really know what to do with it. Like, I know what it's about, this text already, okay, it's about dissipative structures, intention, but I don't really know what to do with it. So what I can do is export this as a file. Uh, if you're on a free account, text format. Uh, if you have a paid account, SRT is better because it also puts uh, timestamps. And here I advise you to put 10 uh, lines per uh, like a maximum number of lines is 10 and then you export this as a file and basically then you can import it using Infranodus and by the way if you want to export several uh, voice notes you can also do that I will link in the description to this video a short recording I made that explains how you can export several conversations at once uh, using your iPhone or desktop so once I'm in Infranodus I go to file import and then audio transcripts and that's that's where I can upload the SRT file which I just exported from Otter. So I'm going to select that, leave the options as they are, visualize and what happens here is that Infranodus visualizes uh, the text, the content is in, in this file as a graph where the words are the nodes and the co-occurrences are the connections between them. So this lets me see very quickly what uh, this text or this voice note was about. I can, for example, see that it's about process, principle and structure. So some kind of thinking process on what are the principles in operation, uh, different processes, perspectives and so on. If I want, I can ask GPT-4, which is built into Infranodus, to generate high-level ideas based on these clusters, which it identified. As you can see, it identified several clusters of uh, concepts which are used in the same context. Network analysis allows us to do that and then I can see that for example one is about intuition and process, another one is on, on causal networks, entropy dissip dissipation and text vectorization. Uh, that's interesting because now I can see that it's about AI because uh, this topic exists there, entropy and how you can also develop your intuition by using AI tools. This is great because uh, from here I wouldn't remember that this text was about this particular topic, right? So this interface maybe seems complicated at the beginning, but once you understand how to read it, it can provide you much more information much faster. Then I can click and see more topics also which uh, are here. So for example, there's something about aesthetics of multiplicity, relational balance and the production of meaning. So this is great because uh, now I can, for example, see like okay what I was writing for instance about text vec vectorization I can select this topic and then click on some terms see in which context they're used so for example here it selects me the statements that contain text provide and context and here I see that it's about searching through text and how you can find response so maybe this was some idea for how uh, some new functionality could work inside Infranodus. Maybe this is what I was thinking about, right? And then if I click on another part, for instance, I really like to go to the periphery of the graph to explore what I was writing, uh, kind of like the nuances which are not normally visible. And here I get multiplicity, singularity, and uh, this is also something interesting for me because it shows how when you zoom out on a certain idea, you get an understanding of uh, the multiple interpretations that you can have of it. So this is also useful for me because it reminds to me some thinking process that I had. Another thing that you can do is to go into the blind spots and ask Infranodus to highlight the gaps in between the different ideas which exist in your network. So let me just reset this and then click highlight and then I can ask it to show me a different gap. So for example it shows the topics which could be better connected 
but are not yet. And usually I like to select the ones that have the biggest gap, maybe they are at the opposite sides of the graph. So for example, this one, entropy dissipation and text vectorization. They are connected, but they could be actually connected much better. So I select those two and I look at the gap. So text vectorization and entropy dissipation. And then I can say, okay, is there any way to connect them? And sometimes it will be very difficult because usually these are the things that you didn't connect. So it might take a while to think how you could relate them. And to help that process, we have a button here that uses GPT-4 to generate a question for you that would link those two topics together. It's not always going to be phrased very well because obviously these are topics that might not be connected, but you can use it for inspiration of the direction where you could think further, right? So here it says, what are the most efficient dissipative structure that can arise from general context of text and questioning in the world to effectively connect and respond to different kinds of systems? So this is interesting because it makes me think uh, that this term of dissipative structure could be used to the way we represent text and how we can also maybe with our interpretation uh, read this text in a way that makes us have new connections. So I could either save it, this very question into my notes or I could also write my own idea uh, how we can use interpretation to gain multiple perspectives on a text. Save this into notes and here I have something already to work with if I want to develop these ideas further. I can also send this very same question to AI so I click on elaborate and then uh, I send the prompt elaborate on the statement below. I can also change the prompt but here I'm happy with the elaboration and I will even ask it to take the current context into account. So it will take the whole graph into account while providing the answer to me. And then it's going to come up with some answer that might stimulate my thinking in an interesting direction again. So here, as you can see, we have a real human in the loop AI interaction process where I first generate ideas, write them down using the voice recognition software author AI, and then uh, I represent it as a graph see what are the gaps inside, generate some interesting questions, and then generate interesting answers that would connect those clusters in new interesting ways. So here is a very long answer, uh, but it's quite interesting because it's talking about different timescales, a topic I'm interested in, so some kind of scale-free process that operates both on very small scale and big scale, and also how you can analyze something examining the atoms of the conversation, so this could be the notes here, and while also considering the whole structure. So this is very interesting to me, I'm going to save it to my notes, and actually I will favorite this graph because it's getting more interesting than I thought, like this I can later find it in my list of graphs here. Okay, so once I'm done with this one, with this gap, I can ask it to generate another gap and reiterate further until I exhaust all the possibilities. So this is how it would work. Try it out on infranodus.com. Also, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the des description in the comments of this video or contact us through the support portal. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you're informed about new workflows and tutorials that I put online. Thank you very much.